Apprentice, I trust you find your starship satisfactory? I'll let you know after I've taken it for a spin. You are about to get that chance. There is much to be done. My interests must be protected and my enemies destroyed. Norman Carr's efforts to expose my spies and prove his Padawan's power to the Jedi Council must meet with systemic failure. You will exhaust yourself in this charge. Where do you suggest I begin? The information we siphoned from that Republic agent will be our map. We know my spy on Nar Shaddaa was being surveilled. We know where this Padawan was discovered, where she trained, and that the Jedi have sent someone to investigate my spy on Balmora. The Padawan will have to be hunted down and destroyed, but first you must secure my network by silencing my spies on Balmora and Nar Shaddaa. Is it wise to put off destroying the Padawan? If the Jedi acquire proof of my spy network, Noman Kar wins. We must mop up the potential leaks first. My contacts on Balmora and Nar Shaddaa will detail what must be done. Your tasks are paramount, Apprentice. Bring cruelty. Bring rage. Bring death. Your contact there is Lieutenant Malavai Quinn. I trust you'll find him most helpful. I have no doubt, Master. This is an important mission, and I only entrust the finest. Quinn will meet you in his offices at Sobrick headquarters. We will speak again as soon as he has briefed you. I apologize, sir. It was the best I could do. If that's your best, you're useless to me. I can shoot you dead with a clear conscience. Is that what you want? No, sir. Then focus, Jillins. Dismissed. I apologize for the delay, my lord. Lieutenant Malavai Quinn, I'm to be your liaison here on Balmora. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And to you, my lord. Lord Barris will brief you personally, but I'm to acquaint you with the climate here on Balmora first. By all means, go ahead. Even though the Empire wrestled control of Balmora from the Republic during the war, we were never able to completely eradicate them. There is a rather sizable resistance movement. No one wants to admit it, but it's clear that the Republic is backing it. Maybe I'll have time to do something about that. Something tells me your presence here will leave an indelible impression on the state of things. And I look forward to it. I have a secure line to Lord Barris. I'll patch him through immediately. Ah, I see you have convened with my apprentice. Very good, Lieutenant. Leave us. Quinn owes his career to me, but we should keep the details of your mission between the two of us. We must act swiftly. Noman Carr's Padawan has directed the Jedi's suspicions to my undercover spy there on Balmora. Do you recall this? Of course. I remember everything. Good. I'll get to the point. My spy is Commander Rylan of the Republic Resistance. He is the central contact for all my operatives in this sector. Unfortunately, Quinn is tracking an investigator that the Jedi have sent. That means we have to cover our tracks before you kill Rylon. Your first mandate is to destroy evidence that links Rylon to the sabotaging of Balmora's defense systems during the war. To do so, you must break into the satellite control tower. Quinn reports that the tower is a death trap of mechanical security. I'll handle anything that dares to get in my way. This task is priority one. The Jedi's investigator could be zeroing in on the evidence as we speak. Quinn has everything you'll need. I'll summon him back. Remember, he is not to know the reason for your mission. I'll be in touch. My lord, I've prepared what you need for your assault on the satellite control tower. In order to destroy the mainframe, you'll mount this charge to the base and activate it. Then contact me and I'll be able to detonate.
Lord. I mark your progress and see that the charge is armed. I will detonate once you are a safe distance. But first, I have Darth Barris on hollow for you. I will retreat and leave the line secure for the two of you. Apprentice, we have one more potentially compromising thing to take care of before you can confront my spy, Commander Rylon. It involves invading a Republic keep to find a lowly ensign named Dermont. He is Rylan's son, and the Commander confided his true identity to him. Ensign Dermont must be silenced permanently. Maybe the son can be trusted. I don't leave loose ends, and all indications are that Rylan's son is a very loose end. I'll signal Quinn to give you the details. Be swift. My lord. Ensign Dermot is being detained in the break of the Republic Crater outpost. Awaiting questioning by the mysterious agent Barris has been tracking. I will alert you if the investigator appears to be heading there. I assume you wish to get to Dermot before she does. What can you tell me about the mysterious agent? She appears to be investigating one of the Republic's own, a Commander Rylorn. I'm instructed to keep close tabs, but stay out of her way. I've managed to slice the security you'll need to breach the crater outpost. Transmitting it now. Good luck on your mission, my lord. I'll be here if you need anything. Side, trying to listen. Oh, come on, Six. Throw me a bone. Who's this agent that's coming to interrogate me? Uh, At least answer me that, will ya? Fine, fine. Stay clamped. I don't care who it is, I ain't talking. Nobody's gonna get nothing out of me. Nothing. Uh. What? Oh. All right, all right, I ain't proud. I give. My dad's an Imperial agent. What did you say? Your dad is a what? All I heard him say was, I'm ready to die. Oh, oh, oh no. This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? Who are you? It's not a who. It's a what? It's a Sith. He's going to need a new pair of pants. Who cares what Dermot needs? You gave me enough time to get what I need. Ugh. I have a very bad feeling about this. Take a look behind yourself, Sith. That's what two squads of the Republic's finest looks like. You're about to see what two squads of the Republic's deadest look like. Come on, men. Let's send this Sith home in a body bag. <laughs> Six? Six? 
Come on, talk to me, Zix. Get up, man. Zix can't hear you, and getting up is a bit beyond his skill set right now. And I'm next, right? Please, please, I, I know why you're here. The, the Republic, the Republic's investigating my dad, and, and an agent's coming to put the screws to me. But I won't break. I promise. The, let me live. My, my dad's secret is safe with me. I'm, I'm a rock. Even if that were true, I couldn't take the chance. Come on, you're, you're, you're Sith. Live on the edge a little. You can take it. My father's done so much for the Empire. Look, may maybe the apple fell off the tree. I mean, kind of far from the tree, but it's still... Look, the apple's still... Look, I I'm, I'm not exactly sure where I was going with that, but please, please don't kill me. It's not personal. Orders are orders. That, that doesn't make me feel any better. Oh! Ah. Ah. Poor fool. Not sure we've ever come across anyone so useless. Not everyone can be as talented as you, Vet. A compliment. I'll take it. Uh, it smells awful in here. Let's move on, shall we? I must be honest. Your success at the Satellite Control Station and Republic Crater Outpost has surprised me, my lord. I computed the likelihood of success as nearly negligible. In my assessment, however, I only considered the capabilities of a typical Sith. Clearly, you are not a typical Sith. I will adjust future calibrations to account for your unprecedented abilities. Don't worry about it, Quinn. I take pride in accuracy. Otherwise, I'm no good to you. Lord Barris is pleased. He says it's time to zero in on your prime directive, and he awaits your contact. My barracks are yours. Activate the hollow communicator in the next room to speak with Lord Barris. The line is secure. You have been most helpful. I'll be right here if needed, my lord. I hope you can see the smile on my face, apprentice. You are turning me into a true believer. Wait a minute. Let me pinch myself. I'm sure you're impatient to complete your time on that little rock. With the satellite tower computer destroyed, and Commander Rylon's son neutralized, my spy's tracks are covered. Now the only threat to Rylon ever being exposed is the man himself. It's time to end that threat. Permanently. That is my speciality. I've had him embedded within enemy ranks for decades. The extent of his contribution to the Empire's interests is unrivaled. The man is a hero. Pity he has to die. He has always known the risk. The Jedi Investigator must have no hard evidence that Rylon was killed to silence him. It must look like anything but a targeted execution. Annihilate everyone there. There won't be a heart left beating. See to that. I've summoned Lieutenant Quinn. He'll prepare you for your final task. Your final target is the Balmoran Arms Factory. The Resistance forces recently captured it and made it their headquarters. An incursion into the Arms Factory will be a monumental feat. I'm excited by the prospect of you laying waste to that place. A Sith craves adventure and excitement. This mission promises both, my lord. All right. The Republic Command Center is deep inside the arms factory, the most heavily protected installation on the planet. In order to reach Commander Rydon, you will have to make your way past all of the factory's defenses, which are considerable. Give me a rundown on those defenses. Unknown, my lord. But the Resistance will certainly have state-of-the-art security and attack droids. Stationed inside are an estimated 1,000 of the Republic's best-trained soldiers. Specifically, Rylon's elite squadron is responsible for some of the most precise, improbable resistance victories on Balmora. They're legendary. They're practically dead. The Empire's cause here on Balmora will be greatly advanced once they're gone. One final thing. The investigator that the Jedi sent has been concentrating her activity around the arms factory. I have her under minute-by-minute -minute surveillance. If she becomes a problem, I'll contact you on your comlink. Sounds like a plan. I'm on top of it. I will be here to salute you when the Balmoran Arms Factory is a smoking husk.
my lord. is under attack. Headquarters has been breached and casualties are severe. Keep your wits, Captain. What do we know of the enemy? Target is carving a bloody path in this direction. Unconfirmed reports suggest it's Sith. Consider them confirmed. Commander, contact confirmed. The enemy is Sith. Repeat, the enemy is... I can see that, Captain. Shut up. Sith, I know why you're here. Be aware that these are the finest troops I've commanded in all my decades of duty. Am I supposed to turn tail and run now? My men and I would be disappointed if you did. Captain Elgin, engage at will and hold the line. I'm coming with reinforcements. Right on out. You're about to find out what we're made of. <sighs> I may die of boredom. We're not gonna let boredom steal our kill. You're not very funny. I'll have time to laugh later. Men, attack! <laughs> should have been here by now. Your commander is an Imperial spy. You lie. Please. It can't be. Must you rub it in, Sith? Would you like me to rub it in? No. Tell me what the Sith says isn't true. I'm sorry, Captain Elgin. All these years, I've been a loyal soldier of the Empire. No. I... can't believe... It's unfortunate they were on the wrong side. They were excellent soldiers and exceptional men. Why didn't you convert them to our cause? I followed Barris's orders to the letter. Recruitment was never my purpose here. I serve for the glory of the Empire, but the life of a spy is a slippery one. In essence, I had to become a Republic soldier, and I've done things against the Empire that have sickened me. But for the greater good, Commander. I have lived believing, hoping, that was the case, my friend. Today was inevitable. I knew Lord Barris would eventually have to eliminate me, but I'm proud to have been of service all this time. I'm honored to be the one to kill you. Before I embrace my end, there is one thing I must know. My son. He was the only thing in the world that was truly mine. And in love, or weakness, I told him my secrets. I, I know you had to cover my tracks, but please tell me, did he face his fate well? His chin was held high, Commander. 
Then I can die with a smile. When they find my corpse, there must be evidence of a valiant fight. We must make this look convincing, Sith. So I will not hold back. I will fight you as though you are my mortal enemy. I'd have it no other way. Then arm yourself. Tell Lord Barris it has been my great honor to serve him. My lord, I believe we've got trouble. I heard your entire conversation with Commander Rydell. What from my conversation makes you think we have trouble? I told you that I've had the Jedi Investigator surveilled and that she's been snooping around the arms factory. Apparently she bugged Rylorn's quarters. And as she listened in on your conversation, I heard what she heard. The Investigator knows everything, my lord. Where is she now? She was heading to her ship. But I had my men move in and cut her off from the Republic landing bay. I am systematically blocking her avenues of transmission and escape. Herding that Republic scum to her only hope. The spaceport at Sobrick. I will be there soon. I'm afraid there's more, my lord. My men who engaged her report that she's wielding a lightsaber. It seems this investigator is a Jedi Knight. I advise caution when facing her. Killing Jedi is old hat for me. But my concern is unfounded. My apologies. I will gather my remaining men and meet you at the spaceport. We will crush this Jedi. Too late, Sith. I already transmitted the conversation between you and Commander Rylon to the Jedi Council. Noman Carr has his proof. Now Master Carr and his Padawan will track down and expose every Sith agent in the galaxy. You won't be around to see it. I will not fall today. Not to you. My intentions and motivations are clear, as is my mind. I have purity of purpose. I seek neither thrills nor satisfaction. Unlike you, I am calm. Unlike me, you're about to be dead. If you persist in this aggression, I shall be forced to strike you down. The dark side shall fail you, Sith. Save yourself, surrender, and the Jedi Council will give you every opportunity to discover redemption. Save your breath, Jedi. You're going to need it. Attack me and I will kill you. Nothing. The damage has been done. The proof has been transmitted. So deal the death blow, Sith. I am at peace, knowing that the greater good has been served. I hate to burst your bubble, Jedi. No, that's a lie. I'm rattling in it. I intercepted your transmission. The Jedi know nothing. You just earned your pay, Lieutenant. I'm only doing my job, my lord. I had her monitored and screened the entire time. There was never any risk at all. Gloat all you like. It means nothing. I remain at peace. And Noman Carr and his Padawan will still defeat you. Tell me the name of Noman Carr's Padawan. I will never betray her identity. I am resigned. Strike me down. I offer no further resistance. I'm not going to object if you want to die. There is no death. There is the Force. How bizarre. She just closed her eyes and accepted death. Sheer idiocy. No matter. The threat is ended. 
Lord Barris will be anxious to learn what became of this. When you're ready, I'll contact him from my office. I will be there soon. Excellent. I'll go prepare. I'll be waiting in my barracks. It's not my place, Lord Barris. I leave that for your apprentice to convey. Then step aside, Lieutenant. My apprentice has arrived. Nice of you to join us. Quinn refuses to update me, insisting the privilege be yours. I assume the Jedi Investigator has been stopped. Quinn killed her transmission, and I killed her. Your carelessness created a crisis. But since you quelled it, we can move on. I had hoped to avoid confronting the Jedi, but our hand was forced. What matters most is that Rylon can no longer be exposed. And how would you assess Lieutenant Quinn's contribution? Lieutenant Quinn is an exceptional officer. I couldn't have done it without him. High praise indeed. Quinn, I believe you have sufficiently repaid the debt owed to me. I'm putting you up for a captaincy and transmitting an executive order allowing you to station wherever you choose. You are dismissed. Thank you, Lord Barris. If my actions benefit the Empire, they benefit me. I would have done the same regardless of our past. My Lord, before I depart, it's been my extreme honor to serve you. You are the epitome of everything the Empire stands for. The honor has been mine, Lieutenant. Until we meet again, I salute you, my Lord. He will have his hands full. There are powerful Imperials dedicated to keeping him down. But if Quinn can overcome them and rise to the station he deserves, there is great hope for our Imperial allies. If given the opportunity, he will excel. By the way, it's not worth worrying about. Quinn's affairs are a speck compared to what we face. Your presence on Balmora is no longer needed. Return to your ship when you're ready to leave. I'll contact you there. So, we're leaving, right? On to our next exercise in domination and destruction? I only dominate and destroy as a last resort. Yeah, right. You must have a short list of resorts then. Well, I hope the next place we end up has a beach. My lord, I hope you don't find my appearance here obtrusive. I beg an audience. I will always welcome you, Quinn. It pleases me to know that, my lord. As you know, Lord Barris enabled my reassignment anywhere I choose. It is an evolution I've longed for and assumed would never come. Aiding your mission on this planet has reawakened the ambition I began my career with to make the most profound impact possible for the Empire. We share the same desire, Captain. I sense that as well, my lord. I cannot think of a more glorious and honorable way to make a difference in the galaxy than to serve you. I'm here to pledge myself to you. I'm ready and willing to serve in whatever capacity you see fit. What exactly can you do, Captain? Who cares what he can do? I could use some help around here. There are some things only you can do for me, Vet. My lord, if given the chance, I know I will prove myself to you. I'm a top-notch pilot, military strategist, and a deadly shot. I can fly this ship, plan your battles, assess your enemies, and kill them. You won't find a more tireless and loyal subject. I offer my military prowess and dedicate every ounce of my strength to your cause. I would be pleased to have you, Quinn. The pleasure will be mine. Thank you, my lord. I will submit my reassignment papers as we depart. Apprentice, I see you are ready to put Balmora behind you. The elimination of Commander Rylon grants security to my spy network. But there is still more to be done. I won't disappoint you. You haven't yet. 
but every new challenge offers the chance of failure. Now, before I unleash you on Noman Carr and his Padawan, you must eliminate my spy on Nar Shaddaa. Head there immediately. My lord, I have settled into my quarters and fully acquainted myself with the ship. I am at your disposal. You don't have to be so formal, Quinn. I am more at home saluting than shaking hands, my lord. And even more in my element behind the helm. I am fully trained in all aspects of operating this vessel. I can navigate and pilot it to perfection. Get to your station, then. Right away, my lord. Have you ever heard of Noc Drayen? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. He destroyed the Wrath Cartel and the Vandalhelm Combine in some giant power grab. Same guy? Yeah, same guy. Weird to think of him that way. Noctrain was the most famous killer in the galaxy. But he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Nock. Or maybe he just had something Nock wanted. I never did ask. Did any of the gang survive the encounter? You mean anyone that wasn't owned as property? No, they did not. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves, and told them they could join up, or go their own way. I assume you saw the opportunity for plunder, and seized it. Well, I wasn't gonna go wander off on whatever waste of a planet we were on. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining had taught me to fit in tight spaces. Nox's crew showed me how to steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. Even the small action of taking gave you control of your life. That is everything. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? You wish to speak? Yes, my lord. I wanted to update you on the condition of your ship. It has responded extremely well to my optimizations. I'm pleased to report that we are operating at peak efficiency. I'm glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. I fully intend to, my lord. Your demeanor makes me tense, Captain. Work on loosening up. I see. Actually, my lord, I don't see. Is that an order, or are you testing my professionalism? I don't make requests, Quinn. Consider everything out of my mouth to be mandatory. Then I will do my best to, um... loosen up. Permission to speak freely, my lord. You may always speak freely, Quinn. I'll keep that in mind. There's a reason I was languishing on Balmora before you arrived. A decade ago, I served under Moff Broisk at the Battle of Druckenwell. Moff Broisk made a critical oversight that brought the fleet to the brink of complete defeat. I ignored his order and turned the tide to victory. I take it the Moff took exception to that. Your intuition is flawless. My lord, Broisk took credit for the reversal, which is fine. But then he court-martialed me. Darth Barris assigned me to Balmora, or my career would have been over. Moff Broisk has blocked every transfer and promotion I've been up for since. I have no tolerance for fools like this, Moff. I could say more about him, my lord, but my point is made. I serve you now. I have no regrets. I'll return to my duties. <laughs>